Hello everyone, and welcome to the February Full Moon Meditation. For those of you who are just joining us, we spent the past few full moon sessions focusing on drawing golden light down into our bodies and then spreading that light around the earth. This month is a bit different. We're still going to begin with the pillar of light meditation, but instead of just releasing that light to go wherever it likes, we're going to focus it inward. The theme for this full moon is forgiveness in whatever form you wish it to be. While it's important to connect with other people and share that love light out into the world, we sometimes find it easier to do that than to work on our own wounds and energy blocks. Many of us carry deep wounds that we try to avoid thinking about, which is why forgiveness is so important. That compassionate energy can seep down into old hurts, healing them on the most fundamental level. This meditation can focus on forgiving others for their actions towards you, or forgiving yourself for behaviors or emotions that you might feel guilt or shame about having. There's no judgment here, so what we're going to try to do is pour light into all the shadowy cracks within that we feel need the most love. You are, of course, welcome to do the regular light sharing meditation instead. Just do whatever you feel most drawn to in the moment. This is just a guided meditation for those who wish to take part in something a bit different. We'll begin with some gentle breathing to center ourselves and help us stay in the present moment. I'll do this with you. We're going to breathe into the count of four, hold our breath for the count of four, then exhale to the count of eight. Breathe in, two, three, four, and hold your breath, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do that again. Inhale, two, three, four, and hold your breath, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take another couple of deep breaths if you like to, or if you're ready, envision a golden cord of light wrapping around the very base of your spine. See that cord extend downwards into the ground beneath you, whether you're sitting up or lying down. Envision that cord moving down, down into the ground, through layers of humus and earth, down through rock, through all those ancient soil layers, through to the molten core, to the solid ball at the very center of the earth. See that golden cord wrap around the solid ball, securing you there. This helps to ground your energy and root you to the earth. Now bring your attention back to that cord and picture it drawing light up through the earth to form two spheres of light beneath the soles of your feet. These lights can be any color that you wish. Since we're working on unconditional love and forgiveness, you might choose colors that are associated with the heart chakra, like pale pink or emerald green. I like to work with golden or white light, but that choice is yours. Just choose one that makes you feel happiest. Once you've chosen the sphere's colors, let them rest against the soles of your feet for a moment. See if you can really feel their warmth against your skin relaxing all the little bones and muscles in your feet, from your toes through to your heels. Now, see that light slowly moving upwards into your body, relaxing and calming you. Feel it relax your ankles and your calves, wrapping around your shins as it moves upwards. It relaxes your knees, and the soft hollows behind your knees. 
Feel it moving upwards over your thighs, relaxing them. See the light wrapping around your hips and moving across your lower back, relaxing all the muscles there and alleviating any achiness or tension. Feel the light move around up into your belly and allow it to relax and soften. Relax and soften. Relax your upper abdomen and feel the glow move upwards into your chest, weaving through your rib cage like ribbons of light. Feel it continue to move upwards, relaxing your shoulders, then down your upper arms, past your elbows, into your wrists, and into your hands, relaxing all the little bones and muscles there. Feel the light move down into your fingertips. You might feel it tingle a little bit when it merges with your own energy. Now draw that light back up your arms, across your chest, over your shoulders, up into your throat, and around the back of your neck. Allow it to relax all the muscles in around there and move up to your jaw and let it soften. Feel the light continue to move upwards, relaxing your cheekbones and all the little muscles around your eyes. Feel it move up across your forehead and if you carry any tension there, let the light smooth it away now. Feel the light move upwards until it reaches the very top of your head. Let it sparkle there for a moment and then trace its path downwards back into your heart. Let's sit here for a moment. Let the light integrate with your own heart's energy. Imagine that light pulsing with every heartbeat getting a little bit brighter and floating through your entire body, through every cell. Now comes the more challenging part where we focus on forgiveness. Those of us who struggle with old hurts or shame often find that it manifests in a particular area within our bodies. As an example, people who found themselves silenced or disbelieved when they spoke their truth will often suffer from throat infections. If you already know where these spiritual wounds manifest in your own body, place one of your hands over that area in which you experience the most discomfort. Place your hand there lovingly as though you were comforting a small child. If you aren't sure where your hurt manifests, take a moment to notice where the light is flowing through your body and where it seems to be stuck. The sore spots can appear like shadows or an absence of light, or even just a stumbling block where the light isn't flowing as smoothly as it could. Once you find that spot, place your hand or both hands over the area gently and lovingly. Take a few deep breaths and focus on the words, I forgive you unconditionally can say these aloud or just think them. As you focus on these words, envision light pouring from your hands into that tender area. Don't be aggressive with it. This isn't a time to force light into shadows. Instead, picture the light like gentle water bathing a wound, cleansing it. Now think the words again or say them aloud. I forgive you unconditionally. Emotions may rise up as you do this exercise and that's absolutely okay. Please try not to judge them or repress them. If you feel anger, acknowledge it. If you feel sorrow, respect it. 
Chances are these emotions haven't been allowed to surface before, but they are a vital part of your growing process. Let's say the words together a third time. I forgive you unconditionally. Feel that light pouring through you, out from your heart, with every heartbeat, out through your hands, into all those spaces that hurt. Hopefully they'll begin to ache a little bit less. If you don't feel comfortable working more deeply into these tender spots, that's also okay. Instead, you can just focus on that unconditional, beautiful light flowing into every cell of your being. In fact, let's do that anyway. Take a few slow, deep breaths and envision yourself bathed in that beautiful light in the color that you chose. If you like, you can picture it like little bubbles flowing through you, bringing lightness and joy wherever they pass. You can envision the light as waves or ribbons or even tiny little unicorns dancing all through you, whatever makes you happiest. This is light and love without judgment, without fear. Keep doing this for as long as you feel comfortable. When you're ready, you can reverse the energy connection we established earlier. On your own time, taking as long as you like, you'll draw your root chakra energy back up from the center of the earth, securing it back into your core. As for the light flowing through you, it's up to you where you'd like to direct it. You can envision that love light flowing into people you care about, or deep into the earth, or out into the stars. It's your choice. Just keep a small spark of that light in your core, like a glowing ember inside your heart. You can repeat this meditation as often as you like. In fact, it may be more effective as the moon wanes, as that will help to move old hurts and negativity out of your body. If you've been focusing on forgiving someone else who hurt you, it's important to remember that other people's actions rarely, if ever, have anything to do with us. Most people don't act badly out of malice, but from their own fears and damage that has been inflicted upon them in the past. In fact, sometimes cycles of abuse have unfolded over the course of several generations. If you feel comfortable enough to do so, the next time you do this meditation, you can try to reach back and help to heal this line of hurt back to where it originated. Should any of you have an interest in this kind of generational healing, just leave a comment here on Facebook or YouTube and I'll create a guided meditation to help you do exactly that. Know that whatever choice you make about your own healing, is the right choice for you. There are no shoulds here, no obligation and no judgment, just unconditional love and light and forgiveness. Blessings to you.